I literally just started and I'm already failing because I can't peel the tape off. If you've ever wondered about the difference between Apple Barrel paint and Liquitex paint, you're in the right place because I'm gonna show you in this video. My very first victim is Dorothy. So we're off to see the wizard, the wonderful Wizard of Oz. Sorry, Dorothy, I'm just gonna cut your face in half. If you have OCD, this is gonna suck for you because this side is bigger than this side and it's too late to change that now. I have nothing against Dorothy. I love her as a character. I grew up watching this movie and that's why I chose it. We all know what Dorothy looks like. So I'm starting out with the base for her face. Um, I don't have a lot of color options for my apple barrel paint, so I chose to use orange for the base color. The texture of apple barrel paint is very liquidy. It's super watery and it's not very consistent. So I had a lot of trouble blending the base colors in her face to get them to seamlessly melt together. I always try to avoid black, so I'm just using a dark brown to fill in the eyes and to fill in the shadows and the hair. Overall, I've always been very surprised by the quality of Apple Barrel paint. For only $1.50, it's not bad. I'm actually a little surprised about how this is turning out because I am so afraid of painting people. I'm not only afraid of people in real life, but I'm afraid of painting people on paper. But back to apple barrel paint. On a scale of one to 10, I would probably give it a six. As we get into painting the background, I wanna point out that I didn't spend as much time on the background as I did on the face. I spent about 80% of my time on the face and 20% of my time on the background. If I had spent a little bit more time working on it, I probably could have made it look just as realistic as Dorothy. But now we'll never know. Let me know in the comments below what you think. There's something so satisfying about pulling the tape off of a painting, but this was really unsatisfying for me because I still had to paint the other side of the painting. So I put tape over Dorothy's face so I could paint the right side without accidentally getting the paint over on the left side. But after I started, I removed it because I was having a really hard time figuring out if her eyeball and her hair and her nose were falling in the right location. It was a little bit off, so I went in and I corrected it. The one thing I wanna point out with the Liquitex paint is that it was a lot easier to blend the lights into the darks than the Apple Barrel paint. I also was able to create a lot more value and dimension in her hair. Her hair just looked a lot more realistic and I was happier with the right side compared to the left. Now I'm working on the background, and again, I spent 80% of my time on the face and only 20% of my time on the background, but it's easier to see how much easier it is for me to use the Liquitex paint to create all of the values in the Emerald Castle. Once I was done painting the Emerald Castle, I added a little bit of Razzle Dazzle to make it sparkle, and it was time to remove the tape. Overall, I'm impressed with the Apple Barrel paint. Let me know in the comments below which side you prefer. Do you like the left side with the Apple Barrel paint that comes in at $1.50 a tube? Or do you like the right side with the Liquitex paint that comes in about $8 a tube? If you had a lot of fun spending time with me today, go ahead and watch this video next. I use acrylic paint and compare it to gouache and I think you'll really enjoy it.